Okay, so last time we got our collision map working and the um, actual collision detection um, working on this sprite that we have that we can move around. So when we move up, we run into this wall because we've checked our collision as we're moving up. Um, you may notice that there is an issue. So as I'm colliding with this wall, I'm one pixel away from it. You'll see these black lines. Those are actually part of my floor tiles. And this sprite isn't making it past that top pixel of the tile to actually touch the wall. So this is due to a quirk of the NES on how it actually draws sprites. So the X, Y location of a sprite is actually in this position right here. So this position is one pixel above where the sprite is actually drawn. So to account for that offset, we actually have to increment Y by one before we check it. So let's first fix that. So here's where we um, loaded Y with the player Y position. Let's instead load that into the accumulator so we can do a bit of math. We clear the carry, we add with carry the value of one, and then we transfer that back to Y, and then we can check collide. So now we should be pixel perfectly up against this wall, and we are. So that Y offset has to be accounted for. Okay, so now we want to work on a specific quirk as well. This isn't like a hardware quirk, but this is just game design quirk. So we're only checking one point right now. So this top left point, this little black pixel, is the only point we're checking for collection, uh, collision. So let's say that I have an obstacle in my way that looks like this. Now, if I'm moving to the right, actually, let me change my obstacle. Let me just draw this as a wall. What if we're running into a wall going this way? So we're moving to the right. The sprite is gonna make it here. We're only checking this point for collision. It's gonna eventually make it here and we're only checking this point for collision, and it eventually collides with the wall. But now look at this sprite. It's, it's clipped into the wall, because we're only checking the leftmost side of that. Same thing if we're moving in the up direction. I keep getting errors, because I don't know how to Photoshop. Okay, so let's say we have an obstacle that looks like this. Same scenario, we move up, the sprite makes it to this location. We're only checking the leftmost, but we've already clipped into this section of the wall. It allows us to continue to move up. We're only checking this point for collision. We eventually make it to this back wall and the sprite stops, but we've clipped the rightmost side of the sprite into this wall, which we do not want. So if we're moving up, we have to check two points. We check the top left and we check the top right, which is going to be X plus seven pixels over, so zero pixel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pixels. And then we add that Y offset of one because this is the actual X coordinate over here. So let's add this um, rightmost pixel. And actually let's demonstrate the issue as well as fixing it. Let's go back over to code. So let's add this to move player right and we're gonna detect only that leftmost pixel, which is wrong, but we're gonna see the issue. So load x player x position, uh, load a with player y pause, clear carry, add with carry, one, transfer to y, check collide, do our branch, and what are we counteracting? We're incrementing player X, so if we've collided, we decrement player X. Okay, so this is gonna show our issue. We're only checking the top left corner right now. So let's say I'm about to run into this monitor, which I've added off screen to my collision map. So this should collide. I travel right, and bam, I've clipped in to the monitor because we're only checking the leftmost pixel. So we wanna change that when we're moving right to this pixel and this pixel. So when we're moving in this direction, only check these pixels because the walls and the obstacles 
are only going to be on this side. So we have x plus 7, y plus 1. So let's add that pixel in. Go to the move player right. So x loads into the accumulator. We add plus 7. We transfer that to x. And we've already accounted for that plus 1 offset here. So now, this should detect the right side of the sprite. Bam. We've ran into the computer. But this is only a single point. Right now, we're only detecting this top point, And this bottom point is not here. So let's put the computer monitor right here. And let's make this pixel, or sorry, the sprite move to the right and watch it clip into it because we're only checking this position right here. Okay, so we're going to move it kind of upwards above the monitor and we're not checking the bottom point. So we're clipping right through it. See, we can clip the, to the top pixel all day long and it's going to be correct. But if we're not checking both points, we're not going to collide properly. So we have to add that second point. What is that second point? So it's x plus 7, y plus 8. Let's go ahead and add that. So we load a, our player x position, clear the carry, add with 7, transfer to x, and then y was plus 8. So load a, player y, clear carry, add 8, transfer to y. We jump to check collide. And then we do our branch. Now what are we counteracting if we do collide? We are incrementing the player y position, so now we decrement player, sorry, incrementing player x position, decrement player x position. I almost put y for some reason. Okay, so now this is checking both points. Let's test. So the, the topmost pixel, it's colliding. Now the bottommost pixel, it's also colliding. Now this has done something um, that I actually find a positive in my specific scenario. So look what happens through this routine. We have two instances where it checks a point and if it's colliding it decreases the player y position. We're only incrementing it one time but if it collides in both of those pixels we're decrementing twice. So this in my mind is doing something positive because let's say we have clipped into the computer. What is going to happen when we hit to the right? Both of these points are being collided with so we increment one time. We decrement twice so the net result is moving to the left and that's going to eject us out of our obstacle. So I'm going to hit right and it, eject it ejects us out. So we're going to clip in, I'm going to hit right, it ejects us out. Let's add this to all the axes of movement. So player left, what do we have to check for player left? So we have to check the top left pixel and the bottom left pixel. So these two pixels we need to add when we're actually traveling left because we're only detecting obstacles on the left hand side of the sprite. So x, y plus one. So load a, player x. Sorry, all we need to do is load the raw x because this is already in the correct spot in the x direction. We just have to do uh, y plus 1. So load x, player x, load a, player y, clear carry, add with carry, plus 1, transfer to y, jump to subroutine, check collide, do our branch. And what are we counteracting? We're decreasing the player x position, so if we collide, we increment player x position. Next, what other point are we checking? We're checking this bottom point. So it's x, y plus 8. Load x, player x. Load a, 
player y clear carry add carry plus eight and then transfer to y now we can check collide and do our branch again we want to increment player x position if we've collided okay and that one is done let's just quickly test no errors and which one did we finish player left so let's collide bam colliding with this monitor when we travel left uh, last two so player down which points do we need to add so the bottom left and bottom right so x and then y plus 8 that's the one we just added so let's just kind of steal that from over here and what are we counteracting increment player y position we instead decrement player y position um, what is the next point we have x plus 7 y plus 8 and we added that in when we checked the right collision. So let's steal that from our uh, right routine. So x7, y8. Move player right. So x plus seven, y plus eight is right here. We can steal that. Put it here. And we're decrementing player y pause if we collide. So that's the two points there. That was traveling down. So bam, travel down, travel down. So those two points are being uh, uh, collided with. The last point is the bottom point when we are moving um, up. Sorry, the, uh, the right point when we're moving up. So we can still clip into stuff. So which point is that? That's the top right point that we have yet to add. So it's x plus 7, y plus 1. So load A with player x. We clear the carry, add with 7. Oops, that's two lines, not one. Transfer to x. Load A, player y. Clear the carry, add with 1. the carry, add with one, transfer that to y, check collide, branch, and if we've collided we increment player y position. So this should be all four corners of our sprite done. Let's make sure that that's the case. So we have the top right corner moving up, top left corner moving up, uh, top left corner moving left, bottom left corner moving left, uh, bottom right corner moving down, bottom left corner moving down, uh, bottom right corner moving right, and top right corner moving right. So we have now successfully um, got pixel perfect collision on this um, donut. Well, not pixel perfect, the little corners um, are transparent, um, but it's good enough um, for what I'm doing here, and it's got the basic idea across. So now we can actually put in more different level data, and it's going to look more like a game. I've already rendered out, um, oh, I don't have it loaded anymore. I already rendered out another level and compressed it, so I'm just going to load that in. Now, the collision map has not updated, so I can walk through these walls but we can add that collision map to this section of the level. So let's actually look at our bits and add these in. So let me actually load up this pattern and we'll count the tiles. Open name table. So we have x1, y8. So we have 0, 1. So this whole line is going to be 1s.
then where's the floor start? The I'm sorry, not the floor, the bottom wall. Um, at row 23. So we got 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. So here is the bottom wall. And then again, we have an offset of like two tiles, and these are collidable. I'm going to ignore this little door I have. Um, we're going to use that in another episode. Okay, so we've made a little bounding box that we can collide with. Let's wrap this up by rendering it and colliding with these walls. So up, collide with the wall. Down, I've gone one, one row too, too high. So let me move this down. Add these ones. Take two, we're gonna go down, collide with the wall. Move up, collide with the wall. Now you'll see I'm on this black line, but that's actually part of the brick tiles. So we were actually colliding correctly. And then let's go to the left, collide with that wall. I'm going to the right, and we're colliding with that wall. So we've successfully made this little simple test level, and we're colliding with every object in it. So that was kind of a long explanation for something a little bit simple, but there was a couple of those points that I wanted to get across with the Y offset because of the actual sprite location in relative to the actual coordinate number that we've been doing math on. Hope you took something away from this. Hope it was entertaining.